In this tutorial, we will use PCL Parts Lab to instantly create parts from the concrete walls, floors, foundations, concrete columns, and concrete beams from our linked structural design model. For using Parts Lab to investigate the content in your linked models, please watch our other tutorials. With our aggregated construction model already open in Revit, I'm currently in a filtered 3D view displaying only the concrete structure in my model. As you can see, if I switch views, this model contains much more than just concrete structure. To begin using PCL Parts Lab, go to the PCL tab on the ribbon menu. Click Make Parts on the Parts Lab panel. In the top right corner of the Parts Lab UI, Select the linked models containing the concrete objects to be made into parts. This will populate the main object tree on the left with all of the content from the selected linked model. The red numbers on each node in the tree indicate the number of objects within that category, family, or type. If you want to limit parts creation to specific building levels, you can filter the main object tree by turning off any undesired levels in the lower right corner. In this example, we will make parts for the desired concrete objects in the basement levels and levels 1, 2, and 3. If all the building levels are turned off, notice the main object tree on the left has updated to show only the selected level content. As building levels are turned on, the tree is updated with the content from only those selected levels, and the red count number reflects the updated quantity. To begin creating parts, select the categories in the main object tree. To limit parts creation to specific families or types, expand the category nodes and select the specific families or types to receive parts. When your selection in the main object tree is complete, click create parts. With that one click, Parts Lab created hundreds of parts across all categories, families, and types of linked model objects selected in the main object tree. This saves hours of investigation, view visibility manipulation, and countless geometry clicks. These parts can now be divided into pores using reference planes, grids, or sketch lines to create accurate pores blockouts, depressions, curbs, and other modifications can be made directly on these parts, and these modifications are maintained when the linked model is updated. To quickly explore your parts, use the PCL Parts Lab Hide and Isolate ribbon tools. Select one or more of your parts in the model. From the Context ribbon menu, Click Isolate Category and the selected parts will be isolated by their original host object category. You can continue to click Isolate by family or type to further narrow your isolation. To reset the view, click Reset View from the PCL View panel. Be sure to watch our other tutorials for more quick tips and best practices for creating and manipulating parts with PCL Parts Lab. Thanks for watching.